What's up guys? I'm gonna talk to you about the hidden power of Q, DTE, Spitey, and Feppy that no one's talking about. What am I talking about here? We're talking about the power of swing trading these things versus long holding. Don't, don't click off the video. I'm gonna make a case why these are amazing to trade. Better than stocks, possibly, and maybe even better than options. Let's get into it. This is Mike, the tactical. No, the surgical stock scalper. <laughs> all right, all right. So it is no secret if you watch my content that I trade. Uh, I trade quite frequently as much as I possibly can as time allows. Heck, I did a did a uh, scalp today. I put that in my Discord server. Anyway, why is trading these better than than doing stocks or anything else? Because you have downside protection that you don't have in options and stocks primarily. Why is that? The massive, juicy, incredible dividends give you downside protection. Let me explain it. Okay, before I get into it though, I'm going to do a ranking system out of QDTE, SPYT, and FEPI and tell you which one I think is the best for trading, but you got to wait for that. So why is it better than stocks or options? Well, let's start with options. Number one, you don't have to worry about theta decay. You don't have to worry about gamma. You don't have to worry about delta. You don't even have to learn the Greeks. Are the Greeks complicated to learn? Well, no. People make them sound like they are, but they're not. It's just people get intimidated by them. But guys, the Greeks are super easy to learn, but we're not talking about options today. When you trade these, you don't have to worry about the Greeks as you would in options. Why are they better than stocks, in my opinion? Because they give you serious downside protection in the form of dividends. Plus, you can really start to learn technical analysis. You can learn the EMAs, which I trade off. All kinds of different ways to trade with virtually, virtually no risk. Why do I say that with virtually no risk? Because you don't need to put a stop loss. If you're trading at a level and it breaks that level, which happens when you trade, instead of putting a stop loss and saying, you know what, my thesis is wrong, I lost this trade, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Now you just change it to a long-term holder with dividends. That's amazing. Plus all three catch share price appreciation. Now, someone may say, Mike, why would you trade these? They don't have the growth uh, of their underlines. You are correct. However, they are way, way cheaper. For instance, SPY T, we could just say for fun that its underline would be SPY. This thing's trading around 20 bucks. SPY's over 500. So you could buy a ton of SPY T shares as you could in one spy share. So yeah, you wouldn't have the growth, but I think the additional shares with the cheaper price will get that growth for you to a point. So way cheaper than the underlying, don't have to worry about data or delta, theta, gamma, delta, you don't have to worry about none of that. And you don't need a stop loss. So let's rank them now. Uh, the third one, I'm gonna go from the least favorable to the best one that, that I will be actively trading, swing trading. And what is swing trading? That could be holding for a week, a month, six months. Just depends on what your profit target is. Okay, so out of the three, I think the worst one, and it's not bad by any means, I'm gonna trade this one as well, is SPY T. Why do I say SPY T out of the three is the worst? Well. At its lowest point, Spy T traded at $19. At its highest point, now it hasn't been out very long, granted, but at its highest point, it's traded at $20.20. So that's only a dollar twenty of growth from the lowest to the highest. And now I know when you trade, you're not always gonna get the lowest and you're not gonna sell at the highest. But just for example purposes, that's what we're using for here. And that took three months. 
So not only would you have share price appreciation from this trade, you would also have three months of dividends that through a level you wouldn't be getting in most stocks and you wouldn't be getting an options period. So that makes it wonderful. You're sacrificing some of the bigger growth that you wouldn't be underlying for downside protection with the dividends. Okay, next on this list, and number two that I will be trading actively as well, but not the best one, is FEPI. FEPI at its lowest point was $49. At its highest point, $57. Let's just say the underlying for fun, the underlying will be the Qs, right? So the Qs are trading way up there. FEPI's trading around $50, way cheaper than the Qs. Plus, the massive juicy dividends that come with FEPI. You buy at a level, you wait for it to go up and to whatever share price you want it to go to, then you sell it, you take the profits and all the dividends. So from $49 to $57, it took three months to get there. That's not bad. Three months worth of dividends, plus share price appreciation. Pretty amazing, I think. Now, what is the best one to trade? And it is gonna be, for me, QDTE. And let me tell you why. Now, its share price growth is better than SPY T, but not as great as FEPI. So at its lowest point, QDTE was at $42. At its highest point, it went to $46. So we're talking $4 worth of growth over three months. But you get the weekly dividend. That is awesome. That is awesome. So you're swing trading this thing. You don't have to wait for a monthly dividend. You can cut it whenever. Whenever. So that really gives you a, a, a huge advantage over pretty much anything in the market right now, you get the weekly dividends plus some share price appreciation. And again, guys, the thing's trading what? 45 bucks or something, right? Way cheaper QDTE than the Qs. Way cheaper. So you can buy a lot more shares, you know, as, than you could have one share, money-wise, of the Qs. Guys, this is wonderful. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, and I've, I've done this already as kind of a test. I've sold all three of them. I've made videos about them, selling all three of them for price appreciation plus the dividends. I'm gonna wait for a dip, wait for them to get to a level on their underlying. So for SPY T, I'm using SPY. For FEPI and QDTE, I'm using the Qs. No, they're not exactly but it's pretty doggone close when you use the Qs for the QDTE and FEPI underline. It works out really, really well. You wait for a dip, buy them, particularly QDTE. I need a bigger dip than what we just got. Go in and buy a bunch of them, wait for it to go up to a level, sell it, take all the money and the dividends, and then put it in another dividend fund. Why is that important? Well, that'll get my ROI down that much faster because it's not coming from money out of pocket. That is, should I say it? That is free money, right? You, you made this money in your trade and you're taking that money and putting it in to something else. Pretty incredible. And then putting that money to work for you and then keeping my initial principal, whatever I use to trade with, and then going in again and repeatedly trading these products, collecting dividends and share price appreciation. Let me know what you think. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper. God bless. Amen.